the Institute for Industrial Innovation, powered by Antis, is really a brainchild of something that came when I was at the University of Pittsburgh, where we started the Swanson Center for Product Innovation, which was actually started from a generous gift from Antis founder, John Swanson. And it was really a portal for the university and industry to work together. We did several hundred projects that were very successful in the Swanson Center. That's when I came to Milwaukee in 2008. I wanted to do something very similar here because we have 1,300 engineering firms in the greater Milwaukee area. A lot of our industrial partners are global leaders in engineering. Companies like Johnson Controls, Rexnord, Rockwell Automation, G Healthcare, and others. They're looking for uh, uh, advanced solutions of their problems, and they're working on the cutting edge of technology. They are looking to solve their problems, the problems that they are facing, and those problems could be power electronic system design, design of the controls, and interfacing all those systems together. We apply those theory and the designs, and we identify what are the implications of that system, and what we will face, especially with the software like ANSYS that provides very detailed modeling of uh, system components. The ANSYS software, and in particular uh, Simplorer and Maxwell, is most beneficial as it shortens the cycle time for developing uh, new products. And we use ANSYS for low-frequency electromagnetic analysis, uh, thermal structural and mechanical coupling, uh, as well as computational fluid dynamics. ANSYS helps us to tackle a lot of problems in different physical domains, different scales and orders of magnitude. This multi-physics capability that it offers, that it, uh, you can model components with the details, and you can model controls, and you can model systems, and then you can link between the models, that capability does not exist in, in other software. ANSYS uh, software uh, capabilities are extremely important, especially when one deals with uh, system uh, level simulation, and that's where we see very important strength from the software. Simulation is a very, very important part for the future, not only in engineering, but in just about any field today. So in terms of an educational tool for our students to prepare them for their future, it's very important for us to have software such as ANSYS involved in their activities, both in the classroom and in the research uh, which they're ongoing. In terms of how important it is for UWM, particularly when the students are learning a software where they know they're going to be utilizing to solve real-world problems when they graduate, then they hit the ground running.